Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we're going to learn how to make sauteed broccoli with garlic. One of my favorite go-to side dishes. Uh, over here I have a bunch and a half of broccoli. It's already pre-cut. What I call large bite-sized pieces. You'll notice that it's soaking in water. Why is it soaking in water? Uh, I never buy organic. I find it to be outrageously expensive. But I always soak whatever vegetables I buy or wash them very, very well. Broccoli, especially, I soak. Um, when it gets off any dirt, but it also gets off any pesticides, which is important to me. Uh, so I actually just soak it in water for five to 10 minutes before I use it. Uh, so let's just jump right in. I'm gonna turn my pan on. Over here, I have a tablespoon of chopped garlic. I'm gonna add some olive oil to my pan. Just to coat the bottom a little bit. I try to take it easy on the amount of oil I add. That's probably good. I'm going to add my garlic. I'm going to flatten that a little bit. In a couple of seconds, that will start to saute. You don't want to brown garlic. If you brown it, garlic uh, does get bitter. So you want it to be just right before you brown it that we're going to add our broccoli. You're going to notice that so over here, the garlic is starting to turn brown. So I'm going to add my broccoli now. The water is actually going to cool down the pan, but that's okay because as it comes up to a simmer, it will actually help steam the broccoli. As it's going, I'm going to turn it a little bit. I'm going to season it as I go. I'm just going to season it with some salt and pepper. Uh, when I season, I season from up high. It's called raining. You want to, you want the seasoning to kind of rain into it so it goes well over. And now I'm going to put some salt in. Once again, raining from up high. I'm not giving it an exact amount of how much they use because it is to taste. You notice that there's water on the bottom of the pan, and that's more than fine. It's not a problem. As I said, it will develop steam and it helps steam the uh, broccoli. Because I don't put a lot of bro uh, oil in there, um, you, need, you still need a way to cook it. So the water acts as a way to cook it. This will take approximately five minutes to cook. Um, every couple minutes I do move it around. If, if at any point the water evaporates totally, and it starts to, the pan gets too hot, I'll add a little bit more water. Here it is going nicely. You notice that the broccoli is a nice vibrant green color. There's still a little bit of water in the pan, which is fine. We'll just let that sit. Every couple minutes, we'll give it a mix. So here we are. You notice that the broccoli is cooking nicely. At this point, You'll see that it's not really wilting, but it looks like it's starting to cook. So at this point, I will always fry one. It definitely, definitely needs a little salt. Once again, I'm going to rain the salt in, not, not just in one spot. How much salt goes in here? Well, it shouldn't be as salty as a potato chip, uh, but you should definitely taste the salt. The pepper too. Now this does have probably another minute or two of cooking. Uh, you can hear it sizzling, which means the pan is really, really hot. I'm going to add just a drop, literally just maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons of water to cool down the pan so it's not cooking so hard. If you can't do this motion, just use a spoon to mix it. After a couple minutes, I'll try it again. Salt is good at this point, and pepper. That's done. Broccoli should be crunchy, but uh, firm, but still soft enough to chew on. You can garnish it with a little bit of red pepper or sesame seeds or anything you like. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and be safe.